All right, find your space on the mat. Let's begin at child's pose. Hips on heels, forehead to the mat. Arms stretched out long in front of you. Spread the fingers wide. Relax the shoulders as you find your breath. Find your space that you've created for yourself in this child's pose. Maybe shimmy the shoulders, maybe press the hips back to the heels. Soften your belly. And then on your inhale, curl the toes under, spread the fingers wide, push the mat away for your downward facing dog. Now use your breath to bend one knee, bend the other, maybe bend both knees. Press away with your knuckles, not your wrists, as you straighten your arm long. Use your inhale to rock your head forward by saying yes, by shaking it no, wherever you would like to relax. Inhale, lift the left leg long and back behind you. And on your exhale, peel the hip open as you stack the left hip on top of the right. Do circles at the hip socket, roll the ankle, continue to press away from the mat. Inhale to extend your left leg long, and then exhale, gently bring the toes down to the mat. On the following inhale, lift the right leg long and back behind you. Use that inhale to continue to press the mat away, and then exhale, peel open. Stack the right hip on top of the right, on top of the left hip. And bend the knees, circle out at the hip socket, circle the ankle joint. Use your inhale to extend the right leg long behind you. Then exhale, gently bring the toes down to the mat. On your following inhale, bend the knees and lightly walk towards the front edge of the mat. Hang out in a forward fold. Hang heavy. Allow your shoulders to droop to the sides. Maybe interlace your fingers and place it at the nape of your neck. Or you can grab for opposite elbows. Draw the weight towards your toes. Uh, feel the breath as you feel the rounding in your spine. Inhale, lift up halfway for a flat back. Engage the core. Press hands on shins or thighs, not the knees. Then exhale, let it go. On your following inhale, rise all the way up to a mountain pose. Press your heels into the mat. Engage your quads. Draw your belly towards your lower back to support the spine. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Lift the chin away from the jaw. And then use your inhale to sit down low into your chair pose. Squeeze the quads as you shoot the hips back down into the mat. Rock the weight into your heels. Lift the arms up by the biceps. Use your inhale to stand all the way up. Stand up, look up, reach back, look back. Exhale, dive forward, hang out, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, long spine. Then exhale, plant the hands down, step the feet back, and pause in the upper push-up plank. Stack the wrist underneath the elbows and shoulders. Spread the fingers wise on your inhale. Push the mat away. Exhale, lower halfway. Curl up, leading with the heart for your up dog. Then exhale, press the mat away for your downward facing dog. Maybe pedal out the knees here, but on your inhale, bend the knees. And then hop or walk towards the front edge of the mat. Inhale for halfway lift, flat back, long spine. Exhale. Inhale to stand all the way up through your mountain pose. And then use your exhale to sink the hips down low. Rock the weight into your heels. Engage the core. Squeeze the glutes. Lift the biceps by the ears. On your next inhale, stand all the way up. Look up, look back, reach back. And then exhale, hang out, forward fold, hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift. Flat back, long spine. And then exhale, plant the hands down. Step your feet back and go through your flow. Now try this one more time on your own. Where you go through a halfway lift. Mountain pose. Chair pose. Back through a mountain pose. Then through a forward fold. 
into your flow. Use your breath to guide you all the way through. Engage the muscles so that they are hugging around your thigh bones, around your arm bones. Engage the core as you use your breath to really energize you all the way through your salutation. And then once you have finished and you've gone through your flow, we'll hang out in a downward facing dog. As you use your breath to press the mat away, spread the fingers wide, engage the core, root down the heels. On your next inhale, lift the left leg long and back behind you. Exhale, bring the knee to your nose. Inhale, the left leg long. And then exhale, bring the knee to your left elbow. Inhale, to lift the left leg long. And then exhale, twist, bring the knee to your right elbow. Inhale, lift the left leg long. And then exhale, step your foot all the way through in between your hands. Rotate the back heel down. And on your inhale, rise up, warrior one. Rooting the heels into the mat. Engage the glutes so they can scissor inward. Engage the core. Bring the biceps to the ears. Straight arms lift the chin away from chest. Use your inhale and then exhale. Peel open warrior two. Front knee pointing towards the front of the room. Knee stacked over ankle. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, use your breath to flip your palm, draw your ribs over your front thigh, and then exhale, reverse warrior. Bring the left bicep by left ear. You can place the right arm on the right thigh behind you or thread it behind your back and place the palm on the inside of your left thigh. Use your breath to sit lower. Inhale to lift long and then exhale, cartwheel your hands down, step the left foot back and go through your flow. Great work. In your downward facing dog, lift the right leg long and back behind you. And exhale, bring the knee to your forehead. Yep, knee to your forehead. It's okay. Yep, knee to your forehead. We're here. And then inhale the left, right leg long and bring the knee to your right elbow. Inhale the right leg long. And then exhale, bring the knee to your left elbow with the twist. And then inhale the right leg long. And then exhale, step it all the way through. Rotate the back heel down. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Proud heart. Staying low in the front leg. Grounding the heels into the mat. Use your breath to peel open. To a warrior two. Shoulders stacked over hips. Use your inhale to flip the palm, draw the ribs over the front thigh, and then exhale. Bring the right bicep to right ear. Lift up through your reverse warrior. Relax the shoulder, relax the jaw. Use your breath to cartwheel your hands down, plant the hands, step the right to meet the left, and go through your flow. And once you are in downward dog, take it on your own. Warrior one, warrior two, reverse warrior. You can add the core strength in the exercises if you wish. But as you travel through, allow this experience to be a new experience. Fill the shape up with your breath. Feel how it is for your skin to peel open through the air. As you use your inhale to glide on up through your warrior one and expand strong with magnanimous breath into your warrior two. Be present in the moment. Be present to where you are. For this moment that you are taking on the mat is purely for yourself, for no one else. There's no desired shape. There is no perfect form. 
The only thing that matters is you and your breath. Find the resolve that there is to find. Use the breath and go through the flow with the deepest intention. Because that intention is what you carry on through life. So be cognizant of it. And once you finish, let's meet up in downward facing dog. Bend the knees heavy, press the mat away. On the following inhale, lift the left leg long and back behind you. And then exhale, bring the hand, bring the feet in between the hands, rotate the back heel down, bring your right hand and place it right beside your left ankle. Lift the left arm up and back for your revolve side angle. As you twist over, look over your left shoulder and then draw the inhale to bring the left arm down to the inside of the left thigh. Lift your right arm up for a side angle. Lift through the fingertips, press down into the feet. Inhale to draw the hips by, or to draw the wrist by the hips. And then continue to use your breath to interlace your fingers behind you. Use your breath to swing your arms forward and up for power lunge. And then step forward into your warrior three. Step into the left leg, lift up the right leg, arms by the side. Maybe you come and bring the fingertips down to the mat for a standing split. If you can grab for your shin, do so. Relax the forehead down towards the knee. Lift the right leg up a little bit higher. You got this. Maybe still with the same standing leg, you can go for, for a twist in a half moon. No, it's one leg standing half moon. And then bring both feet to touch. Squeeze legs together. Inhale for a halfway lift. Flat back, long spine. Let it go. And then on the next inhale, arms overhead, palms press. Sit down, sit low for your thunderbolt. Sorry. Inhale to lift your arms long and then exhale, bring the palms to chest. Inhale to lift the heart up and then exhale, twist to your left. Bring the le right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Maybe you open up for a flyaway or for a bind if it's in your practice, shoulders stacked over shoulders. Use the breath to draw yourself back to heart center. Inhale the heart up long. Then exhale to twist to your right. Bring the left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Continue to twist. Maybe you open up for a flyaway or a bind here. You feel the core engage. Come back to twist back at heart center. Inhale to stand up tall, stand up long. And then exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, long spine. And then exhale, plant the hands down, step the feet back. Pause here. And, and then go through your flow. And your downward facing dog. Lift your right leg long and back behind you. Exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Rotate the back heel down. And then plant the left hand down on the inside of your right foot. Bring the right arm over to stack over your left arm. Twist from below the middle and upper back. Look over your right shoulder. Keep lifted and draw your right arm down and bring your left arm up for a side angle. 
Continue to squeeze the quads underneath you as you twist to look over your right shoulder. Inhale to draw the arm down. Exhale to bring the wrist by your hips. And inhale to interlace your fingers as you open up your chest here for another breath. And then on, take another inhale to swing your arms forward, biceps framing the ears. Now, rotate on the back toes to lift up to warrior three, standing on one solid stand, strong leg, biceps by ears. Bring the hands by your foot or place it on your shin. Lift the left leg long and back behind you. Relax the shoulders away from ears. Bring the forehead to the knee. Maybe you can twist for a standing half moon. Plant the left hand down, right hand up, left leg long and back. And then bring the left ankle to the right ankle. Sit down low, arms pressed overhead for your thunderbolt. Inhale long, then exhale, bring the hands to heart center. Inhale one more time, and then exhale, twist. Bring the left elbow, or yeah, left elbow to the outside of right knee. Really get a twist here and feel the feel the front side of the chest actually expand if you open up for a uh, for a fly away come back to center pump up your chest and then twist to the right the right elbow to the outside of left thigh maybe you open open up for a fly away or bind here feel open feel grounded then use your breath to twist back to center. Inhale to stand up tall, stand up long. Maybe take a back bend. Then exhale. Bring your hands, bring your feet down the center of your mat. Uh, interlace your fingers. Keep the biceps glued to your ears. Release your index finger. Root the heels down. And then inhale. Bump the left hip into the right hip. Point to the top left corner of your room um, draw the left bicep underneath the right by uh, underneath the left ear and then pull the right bicep back over the right ear and then change come back to center inhale long through the spine and then exhale bump the right hip into the left hip feel the squaring of your body as you draw the right if you draw the left hip forward and bring the right hip back, engage the core to come back to center. Inhale to look up in between your hands. Press the palms together and then use the breath to press your hips forward. Draw the biceps by your ears. Relax the weight into your toes. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. And then inhale back to center. Use the breath for your exhale to hinge forward continuing to feel your hands as they point down and come down to the mat and draw your arms behind your calves lift up your heels and scoop up your hands and feel the rounding of your spine as you drop your forehead down to your knees lift up through your hips forward and up as you use the strength in your arms to pull down and then change out of that release your hands and then come back up through a flat back sensation inhale long through the spine maybe take a gentle back bend here and then exhale dive forward forward fold hang heavy inhale halfway lift flat back long spine and then exhale plant the hands down step the feet back engage the core pause here Plant the left hand down in the center of your mat and then release the right arm up so the shoulders are stacked, fingertips down towards the mat or pointing up to the ceiling and then the palms cemented into the mat. Maybe you lift your right leg, maybe you grab for the toes, but continue to keep your hips lifted off the mat and then press the mat away. 
drop the right hand down and then bring the right the left arm up so you're just switching here and then same thing here keep the le the hips up off the mat so that they are in line with your shoulders then drop the left arm down spread your arms and go through your flow we'll meet in downward facing dog and here from downward facing dog let's go to camel bend the knees come to come towards the center of your mat bring the palms towards your lower back fingertips point down draw your elbows together and to engage your core by releasing air and then use your inhale to lift the chin up to the ceiling press your palms to your hips so your hips are in line with your knees if this is comfortable and you want to deepen your stretch, continue to walk your hands down your legs to your calves and towards your ankles. Fingers on the, out, on the inside, thumbs on the outside. Lift your heart towards the ceiling. Relax the shoulders. And then start crawling yourself out of camel and bring your hips to your heels for hero's pose. Take this moment. Make this moment a quiet moment where you tap into your breath of this long, arduous practice where you were standing on one leg, standing on another. But find the moment for yourself where you can be here. When you're ready, swing your legs on underneath you, extend the legs long, and then Swing your arms up overhead and then bring your fingertips to your toes. Relax your shoulders. Engage your core by scooping your belly in. Maybe you bend your knees so you can keep the flat back sensation so you won't round your spine. Lift your chin up away from chest. And then relax on back. Come towards the center of the mat, bring your hips into the center of the mat, bend your knees, bring your legs up parallel to the mat. Press your palms in front of you and on your inhale, lift up, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, lift up and twist to the left. Inhale, twist, turn up, lift to the right. Inhale, lift up, then turn to the left. Inhale, lift up, then turn to the left. Inhale, lift up, then inhale to the right. Inhale. And separate the palms and then bring the chest and knees, knees to chest. Exhale, inhale, bring the knees to chest. Exhale, extend them. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, extend them. Inhale, knees to chest. Exhale, extend them. Continue to keep engaging your core. And then drop your hips towards the center of the mat. And then bring your knees towards your chest and give yourself a big hug. Keep the back of the head on the mat. Tuck your chin towards the chest. Press your shins against your forearms so that your lower back can be on the mat. Now open the knees up. Keep the feet pressed together for... Um, for a hip opener. There we go. <laughs> open up for happy baby. I don't know why I always miss that one, but it doesn't matter. So open up for happy baby. Maybe you kick into one leg, you kick into the other leg, relax your shoulders. You know, this is all pre-recorded, and still it is difficult just to know what I am actually doing in the video. But still, you know, you can somersault your hips over the shoulders uh, for a plow pose. So it's not that I'm not sure what I'm doing in the video. It's more of the, you know, there's so many sequences and so many different things that goes on in the poses that it's hard to speak to all of them all at once. So if you can find your breath and plow and bring your knees to your forehead and go for, you know, a wheelbarrow, you could do that too, right? But the biggest thing is that you want your hands to support your lower back using the, uh, the triceps and the elbows are pressed against the mat. And then once you've 
rolled on down, come to final Savasana. You know, some of these things are really, really, really challenging. Some of these things are really tough. But the toughest thing to do is really just come to your mat. So when you come to your mat, you come to your mat at, with an intention, not just to be a perfect yogi because you're practicing, but to actually enjoy um, your body, your movement, and your shape. And you had the opportunity to do that for the past 22, 24 minutes or so. So by doing this, you will be more aware of the things that are not just happening around you, but also within you. So thank you for sharing your moment in this class.